Hey guys, my name is Steve with The Wired Flyer, where we break down complex aviation concepts in the simplest way possible. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the boundary layer. Let's fly right on into it. So what is the boundary layer? To answer that question, you have to keep in mind that air is a fluid and it has viscosity. The air doesn't just slide over the wing effortlessly. It has a tendency to adhere a little bit to the wing surface. And that little layer going over the wing is called the boundary layer. And the small air particles closest to the boundary layer are going to kind of adhere to the surface the most and cause a little bit of skin friction and drag. So there's a couple different sections to the boundary layer. So as you can imagine, the air is flowing over the wing like this as we're flying forward. And it starts off moving very smooth over the wing. This smooth part of the boundary flow layer is called the laminar layer. But as it goes farther across the wing, because of skin friction, these air molecules tend to start to slow down. And when they slow down, they start to get very turbulent. So the smooth layer, which is the laminar layer, ends up going through a transition point. And after this transition point is where things get messy. It's kind of like you go to a concert with your partner, they're playing some beautiful jazz, and then all of a sudden someone in the background is playing some heavy metal and shit is going crazy. That is the turbulent layer. So the turbulent layer is after the transition point, and that's going to obviously cause a lot more drag. So the molecules are going smoothly and then boop, going a little bit wild and crazy after that. Now, normally in the boundary layer, the transition point is usually at the thickest part of the wing, but it does tend to change depending on your airspeed and angle of attack. So you're flying at a greater angle of attack, then the transition point tends to actually move forward. Now, engineers being the smart people that they are, they have come up some ways to kind of delay that transition point. And now we're going to go over the three different ways to kind of prevent or delay Delay that skin friction that causes drag. So how do we reduce the boundary layer drag? The first way is the simplest way. And it's an engineered design of the wing that is different from the conventional wing. This is called a laminar flow wing. And how it works, as you can see in the photo up here, the conventional wing's thickest part of the wing towards the leading edge of the wing. Whereas in a laminar flow wing, it's more towards the center of the wing. And like I said earlier, the transition point into the turbulent layer tends to be at the thickest part of the camber. So that is the simplest way to help delay that transition point. Now, the next two things are a little bit more complex. And the first one we're going to be talking about is the suction method, vacuuming away the drag. It consists of a series of slots that run from the wing root to the wing tip. And they're connected to a vacuum system, which sucks the air in from the boundary layer. And how that works is it's basically sucking and holding that boundary layer in tight towards the wing surface to help delay the transition point. Now, although that sounds super awesome, it's quite complex and it requires a lot of extra systems in your airplane, which causes more maintenance and causes more weight. So it's not found very often. Something that's found a lot more and does somewhat of a similar thing is the third way to prevent boundary layer drag is using these vortex generators. These vortex generators are ran along the wing span wise, kind of towards the leading edge. And they're about an inch thick or so. And they look small, but they pack a punch. And they do a similar job to the section method. These vortex generators are placed at an angle of attack, which produces little swirls, which kind of pull that boundary layer in nice and tight, which delays the transition point. And as we know, after the transition point is where things get turbulent and cause more drag. So the more we delay that, the less drag we have on the airplane. Now that is science. And the benefit to vortex generators is that they're super simple and they're much lighter than the suction method. And obviously it doesn't take much maintenance compared to a whole vacuum system. So there you have it, guys. That is a breakdown of the boundary layer. I would like to thank you guys so much for watching this video if you made it this far. And please, if you want to learn more about aviation, check out my channel. Maybe give me a subscribe and hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. But my baby's about to wake up, so I've got to roll. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.